Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Um, I'm going to share a few things about myself. Um, I love watching Court TV. Uh, I was so happy that it came back in our area to watch it. Um, I enjoy watching a lot of court cases. Uh, I saw the Casey Anthony, um, the... Uh, Jody Arias, Harvey Weinstein case, um, the top, the few. There's a few others that are hit under the radar. There was a case in uh, Wisconsin regarding a, a girl who murdered her boyfriend. Um, the ice cream killer down in Florida. There was another case down in Florida. Um, uh, the, the ice cream truck killing was just was kind of weird, kind of vigilante type thing going on. And there was another case down in Florida where a guy uh, busting in a home to, to kill this uh, his his brother and his mother to get finan to gain financial gain. So I I enjoy watching a lot of court TV. Love it. Uh, with COVID-19, their scheduling is kind of screwed up right now, so you can't watch many cases. But they're online. They're, they are producing them out, and you try to watch it through the online as much as possible. But uh, it's not quite the same. Um, as I work during the day out of my house, you know, I'll, I used to have court TV playing in the background. Um, so, uh, you know, it's very interesting. On that note, um, Melissa and I like to take, uh, find a different series on cable to find, uh, to sit and watch together. Uh, she got her set of shows she likes. I have my set of shows. They usually don't mesh together, but we do find a few series that we enjoy quite a bit. Um, right now I'm watching several. Uh, one of them on HBO, uh, Fortitude, about uh, life on the Arctic Circle, uh, had its first murder case, and that show is, uh, I'm halfway through the first season watching it, and it's um, a lot of twists and turns, um, a lot of the male characters... I'll have the, um, that's the best way to put this, uh, are all crazy, best way, I mean, um, there's not a, there are secrets in their closets, every one of them, and they're all doing what they can, you know, I think they had secrets and they just decided to move down to the south here, uh, to the South Pole, and to get away from their troubles, and then this first murder appeared out of nowhere, and uh, the twist and turn. So I'm halfway through that, but the other one I want to talk about. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, that I want to get into is uh, my wife and I are just debating back and forth. It's the HBO series The Undoing. It's got the. the um, Beautiful Nicole Kidman doesn't age whatsoever. Uh, Hugh Grant, uh, love Hugh Grant. Um, I thought he was hilarious in the movie Nine Months. Uh, we watched that. That's kind of how Samuel got his name. It's from that movie, Samuel. Uh, Edgar Ramirez is also in this, and Donald Sutherland, who is. An outstanding. Um, I love watching Donald. Um, the series is about a, a, in New York. It's about a murderer. Uh, this is a, by the way, it's an HBO limited series. Um, a successful therapist, wife, and mother tries to survive in the wake of a spreading and very public disaster. Now we there's six episodes. We've seen the first five. And I won't give away the plot if you haven't watched it or you plan on watching it, uh, certain things. 
but this does have you twisting and turning trying to figure out who did it and why. Um, there was a bombshell in episode 5. That kind of opens the case up a little bit. Makes you like, oh, now what they're going to do. How are they going to handle this situation? Um, it's it's uh, They're using the same courthouse that uh, Harvey Weinstein. I mean, they filmed right outside of the, the courthouse. You can recognize the entrance. Um, a lot of finger pointing of who did who committed uh, this murder that 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 happens. Um, there is a uh, private school involved. A very upper class private society school. Um, they reference a lot and. Um, Melissa and I kind of debated back and forth of who actually committed the crime. Now, Melissa is a very outspoken person, not afraid to tell you um, what's on her mind. And, you know, and she's like, the male's always guilty. We're guilty. You know, why, you know, why feel sorry for, you know, the uh, suspect? Um... So, has anybody else watched this show? Has anybody else uh, came up with their conclusions of who might have done it? Now, Sunday, you're going to get the final episode of the season. Don't know if they're going to end it, just be a limited series. I'm suspecting they'll end it at the next episode on Sunday at 9 p.m. Um, or if they're going to... Um, one of those series where you really don't know what happened. Um, they'll leave you thinking and debating, okay, uh, some people argue, okay, um, it's like the ending of The Sopranos. I didn't like the ending of that series where they left, uh, whether or not the family was next on the hit list or there was his new bodyguards protecting him as they went on. I didn't like how that ended, nor did I like how they ended Seinfeld. You know, it's just... These cliffhanger endings where they make you come up with your own conclusions, how the series ends, especially on a popular series, the fan base typically doesn't like it. But that's Hollywood for you. So... I was just kind of curious, you know, uh, try to get some Q&A about um, if anybody else uh, has any uh, questions. Uh, this this series is, is based off of a book, uh, David uh, E. Kelly. It created this series, um, produced this series, and um, we love him. I like watching a lot of his series. They're to me, they're realistic. Um, I, the funny series that we kind of learned more about him was in Alan McBeal. Um, it Alan McBeal doesn't get it's quite. You know, people don't give it a highly review, but if you kind of look at it, it's funny. It's an office uh, atmosphere. So each episode's about fifty-five minutes long. Um, so it is. It I don't know. I, I'm losing my track of what words I should be using. Um, I don't know. I just want to leave it out there. I'll leave it at that. Uh, any uh, comments, concerns, you know, about who do you think did, did committed the murder? I'll leave it as that. There was a murder. So, 
Um, I figured I shared this with you this morning on this Tuesday. And uh, a little chilly out, but uh, we're doing fine. So, thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments. And uh, stay humble and kind. Thank you. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest contacts. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.